All right, we are finally set up. Whew. It is brutal outside. Um, it's about 8.04 in the morning. It took me a while to get everything set up. I'm out here doing some white fishing out on Sturgeon Bay, Green Bay area, and there's absolutely nobody out here. Um, this is a p pretty popular spot up here, and there's there's probably about maybe eight, seven guys out here only, and usually this place is pretty packed. It's been a while since I've made a, a video. I've been so swamped with just life in general. I bought a house. Um, work has been crazy busy. I just really haven't had the time to really just get out there and just enjoy my weekends and, and film. I finally got a little break and I told my wife, hey, you know what, I'm going out. I just need to get out and just clear my head. I've been keeping an eye on um, some of the uh, fishing reports and this particular spot, nobody's been really posting anything. Uh, further up north, if you guys have been keeping up uh, with the news lately, I think about a week ago, uh, there were 66 uh, anglers that got uh, stranded out on the ice. The Coast Guard and uh, the local authorities there had to, had to come in and bail all those guys out. That was last week. Our marking fish already too, uh, they're, they're hugging pretty tight on down to the bottom. So we'll see as the, the morning progresses and we'll see if we can get a couple of these fish to bite. All right, I'm making a, a switch. Basically the same setup. It's instead of the tungsten, like a gold tungsten, I'm just using a plain octopus hook. And instead of the gold and black jig and wrap, I'm using the, uh, the clown color one here. And I got a fish right down there right now. I'm just gonna dead stick it. There we go. This one, I dead stick this guy, and he came up like that. So. First fish of the morning, this guy picked up the uh, the slider rig. And basically all I did was, I've been marking fish all morning, but they weren't all that um, active, you know? They weren't aggressive, they weren't hitting anything. So basically all I did this time was I dead stick it and sure enough, he came up and picked it up. One thing I like to do with these fish too, um, is bleed it. Just bleed them out. So basically, you just rip the gills. Get your finger in here and just rip the gills out, just to bleed them out. And that way, you get all that blood out of its meat, and um, it just tastes a little bit better. Since I'm waiting for fish to come and bite, it's time to cook me a little something to eat. I'm getting kind of hungry here. All I got was some of this Mountain House Adventure Meals. I got the beef stroganoff and chili mac beef. So I'm feeling like beef stroganoff noodles. Stir this up and let it sit for a little bit. In about 10 minutes, we'll be ready to eat. This fish is interested, come on. Oh. Dang it. Jeez, man, they were bumping it and just couldn't capitalize on it. All right, so I moved because the other spot was not producing. I mean, I was marking fish, but they were far in between and 
I moved out deeper. I don't know if it's location. I don't know if it's just the the mood of the fish that they're in today, but they're tight lipped. So my last fish came in earlier this morning and that was basically it. That's it. It's a grind. It's definitely a grind today. Oh my god, you mother... Oh, come on. I finally had them and I freaking lost them. What the heck? Man, they were just... Mouthing it. I gotta check to see my wax worm's still there. Gosh. Oh yeah, it's still there. Back down. There we go. Pecking on it. They're just pecking on it. God dang it. Come on. Come back. Stop packing on it and just freaking hit it. There we go. Hit it like that. Finally. Better not lose this one. Oh, this guy's a, it's a dandy. Wow. This guy right here, man, he made me work for him. Holy cow, this is only my second fish since this morning. My goodness, like they are so finicky. So finicky today, man. I've had so many fish come through, but none of them would hit up until now. And this guy came up and he picked it off on the uh, the slider on the slider rig. Let me bleed this guy out. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I just, I, I, I just lost the fish down the hole. Like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't help but just kind of laugh at this. Oh man, it's been a struggle all morning and I finally caught that fish. In. <laughs> I feel horrible because I just, I, I bled him out and I dropped him and he fell right in the hole and he took off. Like, you gotta be kidding me, right? It, it was very unfortunate because obviously that fish is a goner and it's such a waste. Yeah, that's pretty much how my day has been going. But anyways, let's see if we can get some of these fish to, to bite. You got one coming up. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Alright. I better not... I better not lose this one. Oh, yeah. I think I might have... Figure it out. Here's my leader. Oh yeah. And here's what they're doing. These fish are are keen in, and they're hitting on that slider rig. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but there's a slider rig. 
much smaller fish than the the one I caught earlier, but this was number three, but number two it'll do. I bleed this guy out. This time I gotta make sure that I don't drop the fish. I did not drop this one. Thank goodness. Um, I have a little clown color jig and wrap right on the bottom. And I have about, oh, I want to say about maybe 11, 12 inches of leader line. And on top of my slider rig here, I just have a tiny little gold tungsten jig. That's it. And I'm tipping that with a single wax worm. Go. Oh, that sucker came off. Can't afford to lose any fish at this point. Cannot, cannot. He went back down, going after you again. Thought I had him good too. Got you that time. This guy came off of the, the jig wrap this time. That's the one thing I noticed too is like when when they're really aggressive, then they tend to kind of go after the bottom jig. I'm not really detecting the, the strike. I'm watching the graph. I'm watching them come right up to it, but then I'm keeping a very close eye on my rod tip. I'm looking for that visual strike just like that. That, I didn't even feel it. Hold up in my deucer. I'll deal with it when I when I get him up. Oh, that's a nice. He's got he's got my he's got all my line all tangled up. Look at that mess. What a mess. Oh. Oh, oh. Almost lost that one. That one almost went straight into the hole. And he did! Oh my god! Oh my god! That one went straight into the hole twice! My gosh! Now I got one hell of a mess here to untangle. One hell of a mess. That's two fish I've lost. Because I was just being very careless here. Look at this. Look at this mess that I gotta fix. Jeez. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, it was definitely a grind this morning. Um, I was on fish pretty much all day, but just trying to trigger them to bite was definitely a struggle. Um, kind of figured it out later on in the afternoon. Things are starting to kind of pick up now too, but I got to get off. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Sturgeon Bay, Green Bay has been tough on me. And today did not disappoint. Um, I was able to get a couple fish. I kept three. And I also lost a couple ones too, as you can see, but I definitely had a lot of fun being out here chasing after these whitefish. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.